Hi, my name is Katie Willard and I'm the editor-in-chief of the Catalyst newspaper and one of the anchors for the MWHS Wildcat News. My name is Ellie Hahn and I'm the entertainment editor on journalism staff. My name is Olivia Oath and I'm the news director of the Millard West Catalyst. I'm Logan Burkern and I'm the features editor at Millard West. Hey, it's Mackenzie Gonzalez. I'm the Catalyst's cartoonist. Hey, my name is Bailey Christensen and I'm the assistant broadcast editor for the MWHS Wildcat News. My name is Cody Bennett. I'm sports director and executive stride producer for the MWHS Catalyst. I signed up for the intro class and took the intro class my junior year and I completely loved it. So that's how I kind of got interested in journalism. I didn't really know that I would like journalism and like storytelling and all that. But once I did intro, it was just so fun. I learned so much. Mr. Hilburn actually approached me and I was actually gonna sign up for a uh, yearbook and because I wanted to you know, express my creativity through there. But obviously I had to take a prerequisite freshman year uh, to get into it. But he approached me and he really thought I should uh, join the journalism aspect. Me and Jasmine went to this place called La Smash for a broadcast. And it was basically this place where you go in a little room and you take like all these different types of like sledgehammers and like crowbars and you just smash things in the room. The first time I went to um, state, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, my, we all got to play games, compete. I got to go to Buell every Friday night and set up the strive things with John and Miguel, my two best buddies pretty much from high school. and. Uh, just commentate and talk with them for hours. My favorite story I've covered has to be the story about Camille O'Neill. We followed her around and went to all of her different activities that she that she did. Um, so we went to her choir practice. We went to Hetra. Um, where she rode horses. Some of my favorite projects to do have been axe throwing with Cody Bennett, just because we got to throw axes and review it, and that was fun. Geocaching, we literally got to walk through the forest and bring the tripod and the mic and kind of run around and find all these really cool geocaches. I went to Lincoln for a climate strike, and we just filmed the entire day. It was just a great time. It was freezing, but that ended up being a really good story. We met the mayor of Lincoln, and we just talked about things that we were passionate about and it was really, really fun and rewarding. The one that I remember the most has been the one I did on Randall King. Um, and it was really interesting because I actually got him to tweet back at me. So what I've learned most in journalism is how to manage my time because every story we have a deadline and then we also have like deadlines for when we make the print paper. If you don't know what you're doing, especially in this class, act like you know what you're doing and kind of just fake it till you make it because someone will either help you along the way or you'll figure it out on your own. I've also learned a lot of techniques when it comes to basically rule of thirds, the backgrounds you should use, the questions you should ask, a lot of broadcasting stuff specifically. After high school, I will be attending Colorado State in Fort Collins, and there I will be majoring in environmental engineering and minoring in journalism. And I'll be going to UNL and studying journalism and advertising. I plan on going to Nebraska Wesleyan University and hopefully, unless I change it, major in biochemistry and molecular biology. In the fall, I'll be attending the University of Colorado at Boulder, and I will be majoring in something humanitarian related so that I can work with nonprofits in the future. I am joining the United States Air Force uh, as a geospatial intelligence analyst. I'm going to Creighton University in the College of Arts and Sciences. And I haven't decided on my major yet, but I'm just going to take my gen eds next year. I'd like to say a big thank you to our advisor, Mr. Hilburn. And then I'd also like to say thank you to Mr. Hilburn. I would like to thank Mr. Hilburn. Uh, thank you to Hilburn for always being encouraging and honestly one of the best teachers you can find at Millard West. He was always there to help and always there to give suggestions to make our story better. And he always just wanted to see the best in our work. He's taught me how to take criticism how to become a better storyteller. He's taught me how to never take any opportunity for granted, and I'm very thankful for that. Just having a fun time was some of the greatest parts of my high school career, and I'll never regret joining. Hopefully, I'll stay in touch with people, I, the friendships I've made in this class, and yeah, I am really excited for the next step in my life. I'd love to thank everybody that helped me um, 
throughout these four years, and you had a bigger impact than I think you than I think you know. Uh, thanks for a great year. I'd also like to say thank you to my staff. Um, it was so great to be this year's editor in chief, and it it was such an honor to work with all of my staff members. And I'm gonna miss them so much next year. They were all so hardworking.